Hey yo, what's good YouTube? We're out here at the Charlottesville Park for the first time. Not everything, I'm here alone today. So, I don't know how I'm gonna get these clips, but I got a tripod, so let's see if that works out. Give me my photo. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit. Oh my god, it feels like a vehicle. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like I'm Casey Neistat or something. Yeah, that's what I feel like. All right. This shit's crazy. <laughs> Really cool thing about this park is there's all this street and then down there there's a whole nother section for bowls. This one is gnarly but it's so fun. That bowl is so far out of my comfort zone. Too scary. Tomorrow. The Charlottesville skate park is super fun, but if you go on a Saturday like how yesterday was, then there's a ton of little kids who don't know what they're doing. So daylight savings happened last night and it's only 5.15 and it's already like almost dark outside. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. The skateboard now. All right, I've been trying to get this new trick for a while. I'm gonna film and see if I can do it uh, today. Holy. pretty happy to have landed that trick but it took really long to do like just the, the flip and when I tried to get the spike it wouldn't work out and I didn't want to keep doing it till I get the spike so that's the next progression is the lighthouse flip to spike okay so as a skateboarder sometimes I get the question from people why does the board have a graphic if you're gonna scratch it off and break it this is kind of I understand the premise of a question but it's like come on graphics are sick they're what makes skateboards so cool and it's like even though you can buy a blank deck for a lot less money it doesn't really give room for personal style and choice it's kind of like clothes, it's like an extension of you, it's like an extension of your personality and style. Board graphics also like 
they implement like art into skateboarding. Like skateboarding in itself is like an art form and then you add like physical art to it. So it makes it even cooler. Another reason is like depending on how you ride, every person's board is going to wear differently. So you got like the typical board side marks, feeble mark, and then like here you can get some like board side marks even on the truck. I don't know, just like every person's board has like a different wear pattern and it's like an extension of the tricks that they do and everything. So I actually think that worn graphics tend to look better than pristine graphics. Just cause like nothing that is like perfect like this is gonna last forever. Like I like the aspect of the usage in the graphic. And it's like when you do a lot of board sides, usually the majority of the graphic disappears. But like it kind of morphs into something else and turns into something like really cool by its own. All right, so to elaborate on this question, the main one I'm answering is like the point of view of why a skateboard would have a graphic if it's gonna wear. But like graphics in general get deeper. Like there, there's whole books dedicated to like graphics and board shapes over the years. Skateboards having graphics also even adds to the history of skateboarding and the culture. And it's kind of like the older graphics are like artifacts and everything that went into them is just like, it creates depth in skateboarding culture. So that's why skateboards have graphics. Yo, the Popeye's chicken sandwich came back today. So you know I had to get one. And all I gotta say is if you think that the Chick-fil-A one is better, then you're tripping. Cause the Popeye's one is literally the best thing I've ever had. It's so good. Popeye's chicken goes hard. I hope you guys liked that video and found it a little bit informative. But if you skate, which most of you do, then it was probably already common knowledge to you. But videos every Monday and Friday. Peace out, mates.